my people so so today i'm introducing a new theme to my videos this should the plan is for this to be two days a week i want to do a appreciation day so what that means is on so on screen you should be seeing a actor or actress from from the shows that I review, which is either General Hospital or The Young and the Restless, um, on screen with me, picture 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 to picture, um, and I'm also going to be praising that actor or actress, depending on who is voted in my community tabs. The most will get my. will be the subject of my appreciation day with the exception of today and thursday because the first one because the first one as you should see already is sasha sasha today is sasha appreciation day this is just one gorgeous woman um i'm so proud of sophia she ha has had two babies in the last few years and she still looks absolutely gorgeous She's a brilliant actress. I love whenever she's on my screen. She, she her character, uh, Sasha's just breaking my heart these days, seeing her struggle, uh, these big losses these last few years, and the fact that this actress, every time I always see her, she's always, see her in projects. She's also um, always smiling. She's just absolutely perfection. She truly is. You can see in these various pictures that will be coming up. Look at her. She's a loving wife. She's a loving mother. She's also a loving sister. I'm just saying, I, I will really love to meet this actress face to face one day and have a full interview with her one day. Get to Get to know her a little bit. Cause this is just based off of the observation from the pictures that I can see. Is that, like I said, she seems like a really good woman, and I know she's a really great actress. She she kills it. So today, um, I know the actress' name is Sophia. Then she is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. She is. She's a wonderful actress, and I would love to get and meet her one day. So like I said, you're going to be seeing pictures of her throughout this entire review as our appreciation to her and the world's beauty that she is. So now, moving on, but moving on, let's get into the actual review of the show. We have, so why, why not start with Sasha? So she is, she, Sam... Cody and Dante just strategizing with each other. Um, what Dante is trying to imply to Cody is just quit, drop your pride, and finally tell Mac that you, that, that Mac that you're his son. Then maybe that could go, go a long way in helping helping out this situation. But Cody still isn't doing that yet. I'm like, I like you now, Cody, but come on, you need to stop all this foolishness tell mac that you're his son and let's move that on with that and um sasha came to the realization that dr monaghy was this close from overdosing her that evil creepy bastard he is something else but sasha sasha wanted to just turn themselves in and tell everything, but Dante told her, no, you can't do that because it's just not that simple. Um, we have no evidence against Dr. Montague yet. So, um, I hope my girl Sasha survives this. I mean, I know she's going to survive this. She's already, she's already out. I'm just saying, but I, I just want her to, by surviving, I mean, don't become bitter. I don't want her to be a bitter, become a bitter character. I just want her to get her revenge on Gladys, slap her a few times, 
slap Dr. Montague if you get the chance. And then just finally move on with your life and be truly happy. Because that's what Sasha deserves. And also, we got it. Because there's, there's a lot more they could do with Sasha's character. And, and I'm ready for them to finally get going with that. Because my girl Sasha has been through enough. She's done suffered enough in a lifetime. So, um, Sam and Dante said they'll come and check back in them in 24 hours with them. See what they can come up with, but... Cody's telling Sasha that maybe they, they could just disappear together. Like, that ain't gonna happen. Now, moving on from that, we have... So it was Charlotte that did that to Anna's room. But I, I hope that Charlotte didn't wasn't the one that shot Curtis. So I don't think they're going to go that far with it. No. Sasha, I mean, Charlotte tore up that room. Yes. But she didn't, I don't think she shot Curtis. So I'm hoping that leads to the realization that Curtis was the actual target then. Let it be someone from Curtis's past. Maybe it was Taggart. Maybe it was someone or someone else. Some other low life. But, yeah. Um, that, that Charlotte do need some therapy, though. That girl got some anger in her. But this is Valentin's fault. Why he hasn't been spending enough time with her these last whatever years. First, he want to pretend to be dead. And you want to, I mean, even though Charlotte was informed a little bit of it, but not enough, like, she has a, she has her reasons to resent Anna a little bit. Cause it, it, and it's because it's Valentine's fault. He's not spending enough time with her. That girl has been through so much, so many changes. Look how Valentin created that girl. So, and kept her from her mother for the first nine to ten years of her life, letting her think Claudette was her mother. And Claudette then disappeared because of Valentin. Like, just, Lulu's in a coma. All right, come on. Charlotte has my sympathy now. She has reasons to lash out. So, I hope Anna is compassionate with her as much as possible. Uh, but Charlotte's going to be a problem. But like I said, I don't believe they're going to let Charlotte be the one that has shot Curtis. That is way, way, way too far. That is. Like I said, she, she did damage that room, though. Because that's something a kid would do. But no. I refuse to believe that she shot Curtis. And if they write that, then they should be ashamed of themselves. Right. Yeah. Um, but Valentin convinced Nina not to share that footage so far. But. Nina was supposed to be some sort of mother figure for Charlotte. I don't know why she's dropping the ball with that lately. I mean, you're always so obsessed with... Who, with Carly every five seconds. We used to love you some Charlotte. You're obsessed with hating Carly, but you used to love you some Charlotte. I remember Nina once said... I couldn't love that little girl anymore if I was the one that gave birth to her. Then prove it. Be there for her. You should have seen the seen the signs coming too, Nina. You're crazier than than crazy yourself. So yeah. We can't blame Nina for everything, but I found a way to blame her partially for this. 
I want Charlotte to get as much support as she needs, okay? I'm in Charlotte's best interest. That's all I care about. I remember when she was cutting up um, Sasha's pictures. Back in then, I knew she was going to be a problem. That little girl need help. But Olivia was chatting with with Eddie, and they were talking with the alleged seven, Hat Daddy Marshall. Um, but that Savoy ain't too busy right now. So Eddie wasn't really interested like that but until Olivia convinced him, why not write the song and go perform over there? He said, okay. He's, he convinced it at the end. But one positive of this episode, they finally know it's about time that people are acknowledging that Miss Wu ain't nothing to play with. That's exactly what that Anika girl said to the thing. It's about time because Marshall be talk it's it, it's acknowledged that Marshall need to stop talking crazy to Miss Wu. Miss Wu ain't playing with you, old man. Just because you whooped you whooped old Joey don't mean. You can't get touched by by Miss Wu and her people. She ain't playing with you. You gonna stop disrespecting her like that and antagonizing her like that and thinking that you just gonna live to tell the tale. Cause you see, Miss Wu ain't that ain't ain't scared of Sunny like that. Cause Sunny told her a few episodes ago that Curtis and his family are off limits, but she's still right up in there in that bar. She don't care what he has to say like that. She's going to do what she want to do. So, she done called Portia over there. And even Portia was like, ooh. Uh, she trying to talk some sense into Marshall. A little bit to back down. He don't need to be, he's talking about, yeah, I don't think, I don't think Marshall realizes how dangerous Miss Wu is. He dang sure don't, but he need, he need to come to that realization. He'll be in a wheelchair right next to his son. We're six feet under. This, mm -mm. And Trina and Curtis had their little conversation about Spencer. She told him about that trip that they're going on. She's all excited about that, but she's conflicted for other reasons, but she's in love with Spencer. Okay, let them have their little happy time. Esme better keep to herself. And then, last but not least, we had Sonny and Dax. They were in this, this episode with Pikeman. And Sonny's playing hardball with Pikeman, like always. Uh, I like Sonny, but he need to stop underestimating. But he know even he knows that Pikeman's not backing down now. He knows he just he just bought himself a little bit of time with that demand. But he finally put Dex to a stronger test because he he said, "Oh, oh, Dex, you're smart." Um, but do you think I just have you walking around, calling me boss and opening doors? No. You, I need to show, I need to prove that you think, that you know how to think. So tell me right now what you think. And Dex is like, we just need to cut our losses. And then he was saying all this extra stuff. I'm like, okay. See, Dex will have a little bit of a brain without Jocelyn around him. Shock news alert. I, not. I told you, Dex will be better off without Jocelyn. He really is. Because he was today. So, he actually had a brain when Sonny put it, all Sonny had to do was put a little pressure on him, and he had his brain. So, Jocelyn's just this immature romance with extra sex on the side. Enough is enough, though. So, yeah. Enough is enough.
But yeah, that was pretty much everything in this episode. If I missed anything, please let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. That really does help me out. And I will see you all later. Have a great day. Peace.